Hello, I'm Daniel. I'll tell you about a small project of mine that I'm starting up, Technology Enhanced Learning Studies. Uh, the name is a combination of two fields. So first one being Technology Enhanced Learning, which provides a synchronous yet interactive uh, learning material, uh, which is uh, reusable and particularly reproducible when it comes to, to studying it. And uh, this lends it nicely to, to the second half, which is Learning Studies. Uh, this is a research methodology developed by uh, Ferenc Martin at uh, Gothenburg University. So it consists of combining the variation theory of learning uh, with design-based research, which is an iterative uh, research methodology to improve uh, something like teaching. And uh, the idea is to combine these two uh, because they provide nice properties, particularly uh, reproducibility and scalability. And the uh, idea is to uh, create teaching material for uh, introductory programming, which is well-founded in pedagogic and didactic research. However, the, the impact for KTH is, of course, I'll apply this in uh, my introductory programming courses. Uh, I have a bit more than 300 uh, students per year and different uh, types of students, which is good for studying. Uh, the effect of this, uh, it's, it's cover, it covers three programs, I also, all of which are uh, non-CS majors. Uh, I recruit TAs from the CL program, which is uh, nice because they are uh, well-versed in other theories of learning. So they know how to, uh, they, they are equipped with research methodology for studying learning. But they will also learn and practice this methodology, which is not included in their program. And uh, lastly, they also get teaching material, which they've helped develop and research, uh, which is open uh, to use because it's open under a Creative Commons license. However, we also impact society because we will open the, this teaching for schools because uh, this teaching is scalable by design and the schools must teach programming in the maths classes starting already in the first year. However, our material uh, it's relevant from seventh grade and onwards. And uh, these CLTAs will eventually move to schools where they can continue to contribute, uh, studying this material, improving it. And the schools, uh, although uh, the teachers who all, uh, haven't taken the CL program, I mean, they can contribute anyway as well, uh, which is nice because then they get into this research practice, which can benefit uh, improving uh, teaching in other subjects and other classes that they teach. And that was it. Thanks a lot.